Today we're going to look at a table versus a table with an index versus a table with a view with an index. Now I've pre-baked my data and gone ahead and created it so that we don't waste the four or five minutes that it took for that to run. So next I'm going to show you my query. My query is quite simple here where I've set the IO statistics on and I'm going to do a group by on my data set. Now I've also included the execution plan so we can see somehow how it's running. And you'll see quickly that our logical I.O. brings us around the 32,500 almost, and with it being 32,485. So much like most of you, you're probably thinking, well, and that's a table, so yeah, we're not expecting great performance. Let's go for an index. So just like most of you, I'm going to go ahead and create an index on the item we're looking for. So I get this lovely group by, and then I'll actually hit the index, and I should get better performance, right? Well, probably not as much as you'd like, but we'll come on to that. So the performance is going to be, in this case, limited by how big a chunk of that index we need to retrieve to get the output. So we've got 29,000, so we're now closer in terms of we're about 3,000 reads less, but we're still not at the performance that obviously we'd like to have. So what we can do is we can actually pre-bake our request in terms of creating a view that is containing only the results of what would be effectively the same query. So in that respect, it's, it's kind of cheating because we're telling it, hey, I would like this result set, give me that. So in this respect, I'm going to go ahead and create a view. So the view, as we can see, is very similar to what I've got in my select query. And I'm going to create an index on it, so we're going to see the best possible performance. Now this does mean you'll get a negative performance when you are adding data because of this, but from a read point of view, you're going to get really good performance. So from this point of view, we're going to go ahead and run the execution plan one more time, and you're going to see that we now have a staggeringly low 289 logical reads. That is tremendous improvement, some 32,000 better than our original query. Remember, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give me a thumbs down. And if you want to see more of this content, hit the subscribe button.